This tutorial shows you how to post Juno pods online for students. To use a pod as a graded assignment, you can do this in one of two ways. One way is to go to Post Juno Pods. Select the pod and then click New Assignment. The other way, returning to your dashboard, is to first create the assignment in your gradebook. On the Grades Assignment screen, click Attach. Select the pod and then Attach again. Your pod options are located here. Click Set Online to make it available to all students. Notice the icons turn green to show it's online. If you set it offline, the icons will be gray. You can click any icon to set the pod online or offline for individual students. Or you can double click the icon as a shortcut to bypass the menu. You can set dates and times here for the pod to go online and offline automatically. You may set a time limit here. If you click Show All, you can change the time limit for individual students. Or enter zero to allow unlimited time. Note that the timer starts when each student starts the pod, not when you put it online. Here you can set the pod as a test or a lesson. If it's a lesson, it gives students feedback after each answer, and it repeats the ones they missed until they get 100%. The checkboxes here apply to lessons. If it's a test, you have different checkboxes. These let students see their score, which questions they missed, and the correct answer. But of course, only after they turn it in. We recommend that you leave these unchecked until all students in all your classes finish the test. Then you can check them and students can log in anytime to see how they did. The lockdown browser pre helps prevent cheating, so students can't browse the web or use the spell checker during the test. See the help guide for details. You can also post pods that are not attached to an assignment and have no grade or deadline. This is used for lessons and practice exercises. Go to Post, Juno Pods, and select the lesson. Use the checkboxes under Post as Non-Graded Pod here. This lets students see it on their material screen, the same place they'll find any other files and links you post. Here you'll see the pod options, like on the assignment screen. Click OK, and now you will see it's online. Alternatively, you can post a pod on the calendar. Go to Post Calendar. Click a date to make an entry. Then click Attach. Choose the pod, and then Attach again. You may post it on both the calendar and material screen if you want, or just one. But if it is attached to a graded assignment, do not post it anywhere else, because students may get confused and complete the non-graded one, which will not show up in your gradebook. As students are working on pods, you can see their progress, but only if it's a graded assignment. It shows a progress bar for each student while they are working and their score so far. This updates automatically. Hold your mouse over it in order to see a timestamp. To see their specific answers, click the icon and then choose View Responses. When students are done, their icon changes to a check mark, or it changes to an asterisk if there are write-in questions which need to be graded. For manual grading, you will see asterisks next to the students who need manual grading. Click Grade at the top. If this menu is set to your class, you can grade all students for one question at a time. Click which question to grade and then enter the scores for each student. Click these numbers as shortcuts so you don't need to type. 
click here to add a comment. Student answers are listed anonymously in random order to help you grade more objectively, but you can click show name to see this student's name. After grading, click update to sort the answers by score so you can double check if your grading is consistent for similar answers. Alternatively, you can use this menu to set the menu to a specific student and grade all of their questions. Click Next to see the next student who needs grading. Note that if any short answer questions are graded automatically, such as this one, you can override those scores to make exceptions. On the assignment screen, you can see the pod scores in this column, but they are not applied to your gradebook until you are ready. Click Apply Scores to copy everyone's score to your gradebook. Alternatively, you can click the score for a student to apply just their score. You can always override anyone's score, for example, to apply a late penalty. If you notice errors in the pod or answer key, you can fix them, even while students are still completing the pod. On the grades assignment screen, click the pod name, then click Edit. Choose Rekey at the prompt. This lets you fix typos and change the answer key. For multiple choice questions, you can allow partial credit to allow more than one correct answer. You cannot add or delete questions, but you can effectively throw out a question by making it worth zero points. When you save the pod, all scores are recalculated and any student still online will see the updates after they answer a question. If you want to let students retake a test, you have two options. You can click any icon and then choose Erase Responses. Choose to erase, and then you can set it online for the student again. Or you can create a new assignment with the same pod. Since each assignment is a separate record, this lets you keep both attempts. To see statistics about how all students did on each question, open this menu and select Statistics. This shows the average scores and how many students selected each answer. For any low averages, they are highlighted in pink, which could mean either students need more instruction or the question was unclear. This menu also lets you print the test if any students cannot do it online. For pods that are not assignments, go to Post Juno Pods. You can double click any pod to view it. Then use the Pod menu to access many of the same features like viewing responses and statistics.